Hey, Smath here. Another naming and formulas. This time we're going to talk about countrymen. Name the ions. Countrymen are simple. We're going to know if we have to use a countryman naming if our first element is in the first two columns of the periodic table. Only the light metals are named as countrymen. These are simple. They only have one charge. Plus one or plus two. Plus one in the first column, plus two in the second column. So all I have to do is put together a name off of that. So in this case, I've got calcium. Calcium's in the second column. So I'm just going to write that name of calcium. Then I'm following that up with fluorine in a compound, monatomic, and it ends in IVE. Just write calcium fluoride. Super easy. What if it's got a polyatomic ion in it? No problem. Potassium's in the first column. It's a countryman. Potassium, CO3 is a polyatomic ion. I've got to remember these. I must memorize them. There's a sheet out there. It's potassium, and CO3 is a carbonate. I need to know the name. I need to know the formula, and I need to know the charge. That's very important. That's where that 2 came from. Potassium was minus 2. So I need two potassiums. Carbonate's minus two, so I need two potassiums to balance it out. What if we're going from a name to a formula? Ammonium is the only positive polyatomic ion you're going to end up using, so we're going to treat it like a countryman. Ammonium is always ammonium. It's NH4, and it's got a plus one charge. Sulfide is sulfur in the ionic form. It's got a minus two charge. If I crisscross those charges, get them to balance, I'm going to bring a 2 down outside, and I'm going to imply there's a 1 outside of that sulfur. I'm going to get rid of these charges, and NH42S is ammonium sulfide. Last one of these countrymen I've got for you, magnesium oxide. This one I've got to be careful because I want to watch my charges. I've got magnesium in column two. It's got a two plus charge. Oxygen oxide is the ionic form of oxygen. It's minus two. So if I were to crisscross these, I'd have Mg2O2. I must reduce these down to the lowest possible form. I can't leave it like that. So I need a one-to-one -one relationship. So I just get rid of the charges. I get rid of these and it's just going to be MgO. Reduce when you can. Do not ever change a polyatomic ion. Get those memorized. Good luck writing formulas. I'm Smath. I hope this video helped you.